Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. It is one that I have never done before, but I am so excited for 2022. Um, so I wanna share with you what my goals are for 2022. I'm not a person who normally makes resolutions, but this year I decided that I really wanted to have something written down pen to paper so that I can track my goals and see how I'm doing. I feel like last year I made amazing progress in some areas of my life and I just want to continue that this year. So last night as I was laying in bed, you'll hear me, I'm still not feeling very well, but <laughs> I'm hoping that I'm going to be feeling better soon. Um, but I was laying in bed and I made a very quick list of things that I had been thinking about for my goals for 2022. Um, and I came up with a list of 20, which sounds like a lot of things, but I honestly feel like most of them are probably going to be pretty attainable. So let me share with you what my goals are for 2022. So the first one I have on here that is really important to me is to continue to exercise daily. And for me, that is to continue to walk every day. Um, since I'm sick right now, I haven't been exercising. I just, I find I'm too out of breath and I'm not able to do it, but I am looking forward to getting back outside and walking every day. Um, so that is one that I want to track every day. I want to see how I'm doing. I love my Apple Watch. So that is a huge motivator for me to close my rings every day and to get that 30 minutes of exercise. So um, yeah, I just want to continue on with what I'm doing there. I feel like I made huge strides last year. I feel like I'm so much healthier and in such a better spot. So I just want to continue with that. All right, number two is to create a meal plan. <laughs> this one is um, one that's gonna be a little bit more difficult for me, so it's one that I'm gonna have to make a conscious effort to do. I, I have also realized that I really like those meal subscription boxes, so we get one here uh, in Canada, it's called Good Food. So my plan is to actually order a box a week with probably three meals in it for Courtney and I. I just, I, it's easy, they're delicious recipes. I feel, I mean, I am making a meal. Like it is a meal, but it's just, it takes the guesswork out of it. Um, I don't have to come up with the meal plan myself <laughs> so I can kind of pick and choose. So my plan is to get one of those boxes a week for Courtney and I, and then plan out the rest of the meals um, and also what the kids are going to be eating. For Wes, I am planning to create a menu of things that he can choose so that he can help me make the, the menu or the meal plan as well for the week. He loves doing stuff like that. He likes getting involved, but he's just like me. Like when you say to him, what do you want to eat for supper? He's like, I don't know. So I find that if I can create a menu of things that he likes and then he can pick and choose for the week and then we can order the groceries, I think that that might work really well for him. So that is my plan going into January. All right, now the next few things I'm gonna talk about are hobbies or creative outlets, things for me to, to focus on again. I had read before that when you're in a rut and you're not sure what hobbies to pick up, that you really should think about what you like to do when you were young. And so, one thing that I used to love doing is I used to love, I used to love all things um, arts, really. <laughs> like, and so I especially loved English class in uh, high school, and I never pursued it in university. Um, I was very much, <clears throat> you know, science driven when I was in university. I did, uh, I bought a biology degree, and then I did a pharmacy degree. Um, and so I want to kind of go back to the arts again. And so I always loved reading and writing and poetry and all of those things when I was in high school. Not that I think I was naturally talented at those things or anything, but I just really enjoyed them. And so 
my plan in January and I've already signed up and done it all but I'm actually doing a creative writing course uh, in the winter so it's starting in January it's once a week it's um, an online course but it's um, <clears throat> it's a small group um, very intimate group and I'm just really excited about it just I'm just excited just to see what kind of comes up maybe look at different types of writing what I enjoy doing and I think it's something I want to continue for the whole year is just to write uh, daily is my plan so I want to try and write daily in a journal or um, I don't know we'll see what happens but the first step is to actually sign up for the course which I've already done so that is something I'm super excited about um, the next thing that I am doing is I'm taking a painting class as well uh, so I was kind of torn I didn't know whether I wanted to do um, watercolors or acrylic I ended up signing up for an acrylic painting class so I am going to be doing that as well it's kind of like a modern landscape kind of painting class now this one is not um, it's not like a small group it's just sort of like a course that I that I purchased and I can just do it on my own time um, and so I just want to start it in the new year so that is something I'm going to be doing as well the third thing that I, and again, I loved painting and drawing when I was young. So that was something that I always loved doing. So I'm excited to get back to that. Now the third thing is something that I loved doing when I was young as well, is I loved calligraphy. So I am hoping, um, once I've already done my, my um, creative writing course and uh, my painting course I'm thinking more like maybe in the summertime I want to take a lettering course I love watching lettering videos on Instagram and YouTube I find it so soothing and I don't know and, and sometimes I'll just take like a paper and a pen and I'll just start lettering <laughs> not that I'm very good at it but I'll just start doing that and I just find it so stress releasing um, so anyway I really want to do that so those are my three hobbies that I want to pursue this year the next thing I want to do is I want to increase my water intake for 2022 and I have been doing a pretty good job of this um, and in my planner that I have there's a section where I can keep track of my water intake as well so I plan to try and track that um, just to make sure that I'm doing that every day because I do find that I feel so much better when I increase my water so that is high on the list um, the next thing I want to do is I think I want to start like a book club <laughs> just for like friends and I don't know whether to do it like virtually or in person I mean there's not much in person going on right now <laughs> like with with the pandemic everything is still so especially right now it's just so crazy so um, I don't know maybe I'll do it virtually and I just like ask some of my friends or whoever wants to join if they want to do a book club and like pick a book each month and then just kind of talk about it I don't know I just I, I love reading and I just think it would be fun to do that so that is something I would like to try and do this year which leads into the next uh, goal that I have which is to read every day which I had been doing an amazing job of that until vlogmas came along and then I was making so many videos that I just didn't have time like that just fell off the radar because I didn't have time to actually read every day but that is something that I was reading so much in the fall and I love it and it just opens up another side of my mind and my I don't know just it just sparks creativity for me so I really want to make sure that I continue reading every day and uh, probably tracking that in my planner as well um, and that goes really nicely with the creative writing as well and just kind of getting back to that side of things um, I don't know it's just something I always loved when I was young and so I'd love to rediscover that again all right the next one has to do with this like with making videos so I had never had a schedule I had never 
commit it to making so many videos each week or anything like that. But I think going into 2022, I want to make a conscious effort to try and do at least one video a week, maybe create a schedule. What I'm thinking I might like to do is to kind of do like a plan with me once a week, um, set up my planner, let you know what I'm what my plans are for the week, kind of what uh, what I'm thinking that I'll get done, and then maybe vlogging the rest of the week, showing you projects I get done or things that happened and all of that. Uh, and so it might end up being two videos a week is what I'm thinking. Um, I think it's gonna be a lot more feasible for me to do this because we have moved my computer from the basement up into the guest room. So the guest room I think I might take over as like my my area of the house. <laughs> Make it sort of like a little mini office. Um, anyway, I'm really excited for that. Uh, but I'm hoping that, that, yeah, I'll be able to be more consistent making videos and that I can really figure out what kind of videos I'm doing here. I, I feel like I'm all over the board. I haven't found my, a lot of people call it your niche. Um, there's nothing that I really want to zone in on. So I thought by maybe doing a plan with me video and then sort of like a vlog showing you what I got up to for the week, maybe that might be a good consistent way to show up here for YouTube. All right, the next one is to be in bed by 10.30 p.m. every night. Um, I was doing really well with that um, earlier this year, and recently I haven't been as, as good at doing that. So that is something I really want to get back into again. I know that I feel so much better when I go to bed earlier at night. Um, sometimes it's hard to shut myself off, but I really, I need to do that. So I thought that 10.30 is a good time. It's not too late and not too early. Um, and I think that that will work really well for me. Let's see how I make out. Okay, the next one. I'm so bad at this. I want to keep a, a plant alive. <laughs> I, I don't have a green thumb. And I feel like as you get older, like, that's just something that is kind of like a new season of life. Like, you know what I mean? Like to grow a plant or grow a vegetable or something like that. So I need to find a good hearty plant, just one, and keep it alive. Courtney thinks I'm going to fail at this. The kids think I'm going to fail at this. Apparently I'm good at keeping humans alive, but plants not so much. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um... The next one is to learn to meditate and to meditate every day. And I'm not talking a big long meditation. I am talking just a, starting with maybe just a few minutes a day to calm my mind, to learn to quiet my mind and not to be thinking about a million things all the time. It is a skill to meditate and it's something that I'm just not good at, but I would love to do it because I know that there's so many benefits to it so that is high on my list um the next one is I want to go for um it's just a fun one I want to go for regular manicures I don't know I just I think that I would like to do that um I don't know if I really want like gel nails or anything but because I don't want to ruin my nails but I anyway I'll have to figure out what I want, but I just want to go for regular manicures and yeah, just to kind of do something for myself on a regular basis. Okay, the next one is I want to figure out my hairstyles. So <clears throat> what happens, I'm in this vicious cycle where I wash my hair the night before and then I get up the next day and I go for a walk. And when I go for a walk, I tie it up in a bun on my head. And then my hair creases and I don't end up taking it down and redoing it or curling it or doing anything like that. So I need to figure out, I need to figure out what to do with my hair so that I wear it down more instead of up in a bun all the time. Um, I have learned that my hair does better 
and is just happier when I wash it more often. So I wash my hair probably every two to three days. Um, but I think even, even every second night, I think would be best for me to do that. So I just need to figure out like maybe straight one day, curly the next, like just try and figure out a good hairstyle regimen. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Um, the next one kind of ties in with that too. I want to put on light makeup every day. I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I do feel better when I wear makeup. And um, to be honest, that kind of prevents me from making YouTube videos a lot of times. I'm like, I don't want to pull the camera out. It's like I haven't, you know, I don't have any makeup on. My hair is not done. I, like I... I know that it's kind of silly to think that, but at the same time, it does make you want to be in front of the camera more if you do have some makeup on. So if I can just get into the habit of doing that every single day, then I'll be more inclined to pick up the camera and video parts of my day or make a full video on something and all the rest. So that is something that I want to get into doing. And it literally takes me five minutes. Like it's not... A long time so that is um, one that I think is going to be a very small part of my day but it's gonna have a lot of impact so the next is to do lunch with friends regularly I love doing lunch with friends um, and maybe even Courtney like he's working from home when the kids are back in school I'd love for him to schedule like a lunch with me <laughs> regularly that would be fun I think to go out together um, and instead of doing like an evening date, do a lunch date. So, but yeah, I definitely want to make sure that I'm scheduling lunch with friends regularly because I, I love getting together with people. I love having something on my calendar so that I have something to look forward to. And I just think it's good, especially because I, I don't work outside the house. So I don't get that companionship from what I used to get when I used to work. You know, I used to see all my friends at work and we would chat and I just don't get that anymore. So that would be really nice. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to explore Toronto. Like I am so close to Toronto. I can take the train in. I can walk around the city. I could go to like, I don't know, a museum or an art gallery or I, there's just so many things to do. And I, um, I've always been kind of like afraid to like do stuff like that on my own. <laughs> um, and Courtney's kind of protective too, to be honest. Like I think he might be a little worried about me doing that, but I, I just, I can't believe I've lived this close to Toronto for this many years and like I don't go in to explore it. I, I know that Courtney doesn't really enjoy going in because he, um, until the pandemic, he worked in Toronto, downtown Toronto. So he was in there every day. So he didn't want to go in on his weekends or anything like that. But I'm thinking like once in a while, maybe once every three months, like when the kids are in school, maybe me um, go to the go train station, take the go train in and just explore the city for a bit um, and then come back again. So that's my plan. I, re I would really like to do that. Um, and also I was thinking maybe even doing like a hotel stay like in Toronto, like take the train in and explore the city and stay in a hotel overnight. Like, I don't know, I just think it'd be so fun. Um, just kind of like a little mini getaway. Um, the next thing I want to do is I, when it is safe and when we are able to, I want to visit Nova Scotia more. So that is, um, that's where all of our family and friends are. Uh, and so I want to do that. Um, I mean, before the pandemic, we were going probably once every year. Um, and so I want to do that, you know, that yearly trip as a family in the summer. Um, but also myself, like me just take a trip to Nova Scotia to visit, um, you know, my friends and my family. It's a lot easier to visit people when you don't have the kids with you and all of that. So... I would like to uh, to do that more as well. Um, the next one is a Walt Disney World trip once a year, which we cannot wait to get back there again. Um, we look forward to those trips. They are 
the best family trips for us. And right now we do have one planned. Knock on wood, like where is wood? <laughs> we have one planned for May. Um, but anyway, we'll have to see how that goes because I don't know if, uh, if it will happen or not. It depends on, sorry, just had a cough there. It's funny. It's like, um, as I get talking, it is so, oh my God, my throat gets so dry. Okay. Just hang on one second. I'm gonna go get a drink of water. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to go make myself a cup of tea because I started coughing again. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, it's, uh, yeah, this like illness is just never ending, I'm telling you. Anyhow, like I was saying, um, Walt Disney World is our favorite family trip. We are supposed to go back in May. However, I'm not sure if we will get there or not. Just depends on the state of the world and if, whether it's safe or not so we're not sure um, thank goodness this video is almost done because I feel the coughs coming on um, okay this is the last uh, goal that I have for 2022 it is to try and do one project a month to the house and I'm not talking great big <laughs> projects like a huge renovation or anything like that sometimes they're just little projects so for instance um one project i want to do is the guest room right now it's painted like this pinkish purplish color so we absolutely want to repaint the walls i want to get new curtains in there um anyway just freshen it up so you know put some art on the walls and stuff like that so that is um the first project that I'll probably tackle is that room. Um, but some of the other ones that I have on my list are like, oh, Will's room, that, that room needs repainted as well. So we're gonna do that. And then of course, if we do Will's room, we'll have to do Wes's room. Um, I need to do my closet. So even though my closet is beautiful and huge, I don't have it organized yet. So I really would love to do that project one month. You know, maybe buy some baskets and stuff like that. So that's exciting. Um, the, oh, the master bedroom. So I, um, I'm thinking at some point that I might like new bedding. We've had uh, this bedding for quite a while on this bed. So I'm thinking maybe this summer, I'd like to change it up and uh, get some new bedding. I actually have uh, a new desk coming. Um, so it's gonna be a desk that's gonna be on my side of the bed over here. And it's also going to be where I put on makeup during the, the day um, and it'll be a spot where I can do my writing and stuff like that. So <clears throat> that's already been ordered and I'm so excited for that to arrive um, and I'll be sure to show you when, when that gets here. Um, but yeah, so it's just little projects like that. There's like little things that I want to do and so I want to have something going every single month. So that is my, my plan. So I think that that's pretty much everything. Um, anyway, like I said, I think it's all stuff that I um, that I can accomplish. <clears throat> There's some things that are gonna be a little bit harder than others, um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So I would love to hear from you if you have any 2022 goals or resolutions. I'd love to hear what you have planned and if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel because since one of my goals is to make sure I do at least one video a week, <laughs> there should be regular videos coming out. So I would love for you to subscribe and to um, just follow along. And uh, I'm always <clears throat> so inspired by you guys. I get like the best ideas from you guys. So make sure that you share lots with me and um, we will see you again very soon. I hope that you have a wonderful and safe New Year's. And um, anyway, cheers to 2022. We'll see you next time. Bye.